So this is my Sea of Thieves music box. Someone asked to get kind of a more detailed explanation of it, so I'm going to just quickly cover everything that's in it. To start with, I need the box. So I went to Michael's, and they had this for $3. Nice size. And for comparison, it's about 6 inches by 4 inches. It's only 3 bucks. It's a great little box. At that point, I just painted it and got to work on the inside. Um, for electronics, it's using a Raspberry Pi with a Adafruit speaker bonnet to give it an audio output with an amplifier to those two speakers in the back. Along with that, there is a stepper motor and driver. It's a cheap little 28WYB48. I'll have probably a link to all my parts in the description. So everything, all three movements of the box work off of just one motor and everything's geared off it with 3D printed gears. So just about everything besides the electronics in the box is 3D printed. Uh, that's just the easiest way for me to get everything I needed. So the first thing I did was grab screenshots and just figure out how I was gonna do everything. I printed up all the corner brackets. I compared the sizes and got a general idea for everything. And then I got to the gears. Um, there's three movements with this. There's the main disc, the spinning key, and then there's a back spinning disc. These two spin at the same speed in the same direction, so they're really easy. I just have the skeleton snap right on top, and he just spins. And then the, I have a single gear that goes off to the side with a bevel that spins it, and it, it matches perfectly. Ah, the back wheel is a bit of a bitch. It spins twice as fast and in the opposite direction as everything else. So the way I made that work was, I again used a beveled gear and it goes to a two to one gear. This both doubles the speed and doubles the direction, or reverses the direction, so it matches what's in the video and in the game more closely. I stenciled and painted that. In the game, it looks like it's cut out of the top, but I, don't, I couldn't do that kind of detail on this box without just exploding into a million pieces, so I just painted it. Um, all the corner brackets were printed and painted by me. And I think they came out pretty well. It seems to match uh, pretty well. It's hard to catch the cartoony style very well, but I did okay. Um, the skeleton itself, a bit tricky, but I think overall I've matched it about as good as I can. Personally, I'm not an artist. I painted it as best I can, but it came out okay. Now into the actual getting away from the box and getting into what I did. The biggest thing I used was Tinkercad, which is an online, simple, browser-based modeling tool. I 3D modeled and printed tons and tons of different ways of trying everything till I got a solution that does work. Um, I might post these on Thingiverse just if other people want to give this a shot, but the problem is, is there's so much like careful like adjusting and cutting it's not a print and use solution but it's a good starting point um, all the gears are centered around skateboard bearings for rotation because that gives it a nice smooth action without it binding up so all of these are skateboard bearings it supports everything that spins so that there's no uh it doesn't bind up which is a problem i ran into after multiple problems the software, I am super simple right now. I'm working on getting it a little more advanced. I want random song choice. I want the spinning to stop with the song stopping. It's, it's going to take me some time because I don't code for a living, so I have no idea how that works. And then the hardest thing, honestly, was figuring out how to get the skeleton because I cannot 3D model in that kind of detail. So what I did was I actually plucked out and grabbed the skeleton itself. And then I actually uploaded it and converted it to a vector file and put it in Tinkercad. And it came out just like that. I 3D printed it like this, painted it, and it came out perfect. Um, so the speakers get so loud I have to run them at only 10% just because it's <laughs> too loud. Um, overall... The only things I want to change are 
there's a bevel around the edge, which I haven't gotten a chance to do yet. I'm probably going to go pick up some wood tomorrow and just flesh this strip out a bit more and then move these to the outside. And then I need two little metal pegs, two, two more black corner pieces on the inside that go on the covering plank that I printed or carved. And this just snaps right on top, and it runs. Now, for right now, to actually make this thing work, I have to type in the command on a computer, which is a bit of a pain. But I'm, I can get it to launch automatically, but the code isn't quite where I want it yet to just work pretty well. So I'm going to run it real quick. So I just have it spinning right now, no audio. So as you can see, these two spin at the same speed, but the back gear spins twice as fast and in the opposite direction, which actually matches what it does in the video. Let's actually show it spinning internally. So the stepper driver spins those two main gears, the two gears come off it at the sides and everything just spins. And it's super quiet, you can barely hear the, the motors turning at all, that's why I used the stepper motor in the first place. Overall, not an easy project. It's not going to ever be really plug and play. Um, I don't think I'm going to be making any more because I just wanted to do one for myself. But hopefully this gives other people some ideas and some help. I'll probably make a Thingiverse page where I just post up all the models I have so far. So if someone wants to build off of what I did and maybe do it a little bit better themselves, they can give it a shot. But overall, cool little project. Can't wait for the game. And I really shouldn't be recording at 1 in the morning, but hey, what's a good sleep cycle for anyways?